Hello everybody, this is Thumper and welcome to my new video. Whether you are employed or unemployed, you all at some point or the other have used job portals to desperately get out of unemployment, to seek more money, to seek brand name, to seek challenges. I have also used job portals trying to find out of the world job satisfaction but some time ago I kept everything aside after becoming wise and smart and realizing that job is a job for a reason, get real and move on with whatever you have. But with the many years of being a user of such portals and subscribing to their email list, I've learned a thing or two about the major job portals. Here's that for you. Number one, timesjob.com. These people live up to everything that is media from Times Group. You know, like Times of India. Full of bullshit, biggest spammers and promotes whoever pays the money irrespective of the relevance. If you're a software engineer looking for a job in PHP domain in Bangalore area with a pay more than 50 lakh rupees for example, You'll get job matching your requirement emails, opening in civil engineering project as electrician in Lucknow with a pay of 1.8 lakh rupees. The only thing they can do right is send you the partner offers or another way of saying that I'm getting paid to spam you with the irrelevant shit. Even after unsubscribing many times, you will keep getting emails like, you know, best places to party in the city, top 5 marriage match websites for you to finally get laid and if you're fortunate you have hot singles in your area waiting to hook up. For fuck's sake, can you help me find a job first so that I can even think about the rest of this stuff? Number 2. MonsterIndia.com Monster is like a luxury sports car, stuck in a Bangalore traffic. They apparently are the big shots, you know. One of the top employment websites in the US, one of the largest job search engines in the world and all, but somehow they've got Delhi Belly after reaching India and all that's coming out of them is what's expected from Delhi Belly. I have used Monster many many years ago but never really received any decent opportunity or not even much postings are found in portal as well. I wonder how they even survive to spend money on promotions, you know. With their massacre guys walking around airports seeking signups in airports. Maybe they're actually into some other business, you know? Maybe the identity theft that happened in Monster once in a while is not much of a theft after all. Maybe. I don't know anything. Number 3. Shine.com I haven't really used them much, you know, but as far as my experience is concerned, they're in a very bad state. Such a bad situation that they're more desperate to get a job than you are. The only calls I've ever received from Shine.com are them humbly requesting if I would be okay if they register me in their website for free. And I was like, where did you even get my contacts? And they would cheapishly say that they have sourced it through other job portals. Now that is one hell of a pity worth the situation. Number four, Nakri.com. Nakri.com is like an Indian bureaucrat. As long as you go visit them frequently and have some interactions like, you know, here and there, they'll get your work done. Oh, when I said bureaucrat, I mean they're honest, doing his duty bureaucrat who seeks some acknowledgement, that's it. But if you don't frequent them and update them here and there, it's of no use. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? And another thing is, HR professionals prefer not really to find candidates with their employer accounts. Considering the fact that HR normally doesn't like to do any work at all and judge people about other people's work, not really must be doing a good job. Number 5. Headhunters. Do you remember those people in flashy suits and big grins and fancy titles in the high-end networking events? Who later sends you all the shitty promo emails and brochures and network marketing shit and religious bull crap and spam your life because you did that one mistake of handing them your business card. These are the digital equivalent of them. These people are not much of a portal assets but the damage done is digital. They would keep it classy and professional through LinkedIn and stuff, you know, other personal discussions you might have had many, many years ago. But once they start sending you emails, even if you try unsubscribing a zillion times, they will spam your inbox like a rain of shit from the hell and only hope to escape maybe to change the email address altogether. Email promoting seminars, irrelevant trainings, unrelated academic course promos, pseudo personality development shit and whatnot. Now I usually make weekly rants about current events and controversies so if you're into that kind of stuff, do subscribe to my channel. Now if you can relate to this video, show some love and share it among your friends. Click thumbs up if you like it and comment to let me know what you think of it. And hey, check out my other videos here or in the description. See you next week. Ciao.